In case you missed it, make sure you check out part one and two of my creating band merch series, where I teach you how to create a motion blur effect and a glass text effect in Adobe Photoshop. It will be linked on the screen and below in the description box. Part three will cover creating a gradient blur effect in Photoshop for a world tour shirt design. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get into it. Start off by creating a new document. I will change my document to inches. The width will be 12 and the height will be 15. Resolution 300 and RGB color mode. Next, we're gonna add a new color fill layer and change the background to 1B1D21. Now I'm gonna pop over to Adobe Illustrator and I will copy over the logo mark that I made for the title of the album, which is Once in a Blue Moon. Go to Edit Copy and Edit Paste. I will be pasting it as a smart object and resize it. Rename your layer. And then drag this layer to the plus icon at the bottom of the layers panel to duplicate it. Take your original layer and we will apply a radial blur. Go to Filter, Blur, Radial Blur, and change the amount to 1, Blur Method Spin, and Quality is Best. Take your duplicated layer and place it within its own folder. Rename this folder Color 1. Now let's add a solid color layer on top, and I will change this to 20 d 8 f 9 Right click this layer and create clipping mask. Double click this layer. And now we're gonna add an inner glow. Blend mode should be vivid light. Opacity 100 and the color will be F3 FE FF. The source will be center and the size will be 92. Change the range to 70. Now we will apply a Gaussian Blur. Go to Filter Blur, Gaussian Blur, and change the radius to eight and click OK. Now we will add a Path Blur. Go to Filter, Blur Gallery, Path Blur. So here I'm gonna take my first point and move it closer to the letter E, and then take the end point and move it towards the top of my document. Now select your middle point and drag it so that it gives a nice curve. Now I'm gonna do this same process for the bottom. Clicking and making a point on the M and then clicking and making another point at the bottom, closer to the bottom. Then click the middle and make another curve. Change your speed to 212. And taper will be 24. Make sure centered blur is unchecked. Click OK. Take this group and duplicate it. Rename this group Color 2 and place it underneath Color 1. Now change this color field to 7403E8.
And now we're gonna get rid of the inner glow by dragging it to the trash icon. Double click on Gaussian Blur because we're gonna change this. Change it to 25 pixels. And now double click on Blur Gallery and we will change the speed to 500%. and taper will be 14%. Now make the rest of your layers visible. And now grab your type tool and I will type out world tour. My color will be white. And I will be using this font. My size will be 37. And my spacing will be 180. And I will place this in the center underneath my logo for the album. And then next I'll type out the year. Change the size to 29. And my color will be B2A. 6FD. And I will change my spacing to negative 80. So next I'm going to type out some tour dates and I will change the font size to 22. My color will be white and my tracking will be zero. Next, I'm going to type out one of the main songs on the album, which is Took You Long Enough. And I'm going to change my font to a more handwritten cursive font. And my size will be 85. And my color will be 10D9FD. I will place this in the center and then go up to edit transform skew and skew my text a bit. I will duplicate this layer and type out XOXO Avery. And I will change my font to this one. And the size will be 39. Now I'm gonna pop back over to Adobe Illustrator and I will grab the logo for my band and I will copy and paste it over into Photoshop. 
and I will place it all the way at the bottom. Now I will open up my moon photo. I will rename my layer and right click convert to smart object. I will go to select subject and create a mask and then drag and drop my image over into my document and resize it. I will unlink my mask and go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and I will increase my radius. Now with the mask layer selected, I am pressing shift and the up key on my keyboard so that the stars, so that you can see the stars more. Now I am going to add a gradient map on top of this layer. And for my first color stop, I will be using 50BAFD. And on the second color stop, I will change this to C486F5. Now I will right click create clipping mask and change this layer to color burn. Next, I'm going to open up my clouds image, rename my layer, and right click convert to smart object and bring it over into my document. I will place it underneath the moon layer. and resize my image. Create a mask. And use a soft brush to mask around the edges. And so you can also make the other layers invisible just to see if you're masking everything out that you need to. Now I'm gonna add a levels adjustment layer on top and I will change my middle number to 0 0.64 and the other number to 220. And I will right click create clipping mask. And then next I will add a color balance layer on top, right click create clipping mask and change the blue to 50. And that is how you create a gradient blur effect in Photoshop for a world tour shirt design. If you like what you saw today, make sure you hit that like button and also subscribe and click that notification bell to be notified every time I drop a new video. Thanks for watching.